My name is James Varikama, the Executive Director of the Harmonious Chorale Ghana. I am right here at the National Theatre of Ghana. Today is the evening with Dr. Amu and Professor Emiratu Sinketia. It's going to be wow. The program, as you know, is celebrating Dr. Ephraim Amu, who is my late father, Professor Emeritus J. H. Kwabman Ketia, who is also my godfather. I'm here as a member of the family. I'm a daughter, one of the daughters. My name is Misonu. My name is Junior Ondobekali. Today is a special day. We are singing to honor two great composers. This concert is about peace and peace in Ghana. Thank you to Salt and Light Ministries, and we are the Harmonious Chorale. Our custom for these nights has been to celebrate Ghanaian composers who have made a significant contribution to classical Ghanaian choral pieces. Tonight is dedicated to celebrating two luminaries in that direction. Dr. Ephraim Amu, whose profile I'll share highlights with you later on, and Emeritus Profa, Profe, Professor sorry, Kwabna Nketia. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the two luminaries of Ghanaian music that we'll be sharing tonight with. I think both to their memory and to their accomplishments, let's give them a round of applause for what we are about to celebrate tonight. The choir in service that will be leading us in the celebration of these works is our own harmonious chorale. And I know that tonight promises to be an event that will be memorable in all course. Without much ado, I would welcome on stage for our curtain raiser, Princess Hannah Ewo Esiem. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome her on stage. As she takes her elegant, gracious steps. Let's keep it going, let's keep it going. As she picks her way through the cables on the ground. Princess, we welcome you for the curtain raiser. Ladies and gentlemen, princess for you.
Christ shall obey thy will. demands. I need to tell you a little bit about Dr. Ephraim Amo. It's a statement by another person we're celebrating tonight, Emeritus Professor J.H. Kwabnai Ketia, about Tata Amo. Apart from the fact that he composed over 200 works in English, in Ewe, Chi, and Ga, and he inspired lyrics which evinced his abiding love for Ghanaian choral music, Professor J.H. Kwabnai Ketcha refers to Dr. Amu as the single greatest influence on the development of art music in contemporary Ghana. And the fact that he played traditional drums, flutes, and increased the pitch range of the Atenteben and Odruja and created the Odruja Ba. And those were significant things. And the fact that he was a political person, his passion for this country was evidenced in between 1925 and 1933. Now that's a long time ago. Um, when he created a little um, ruckus in the Presbyterian College by driving the inclusion of Ghanaian music, drumming and the playing of Ghanaian instruments, uh, which led to his being fired from the college. Um, fortunately, Achimota welcomed him um, I'm, I'm surprised it wasn't in Fanspin, but anyway, we'll survive with that. <laughs> and he had been to prison uh, for his political beliefs. Uh, you know, finally, he was discharged. But that's when he got the famous beard, because he refused to shave his beard with the blade that the other inmates used. Now, when he got out of jail, um, he realized that it was, he looked nicer with a beard on, just like myself. And he changed his, his, his appearance. And that's how come we have images of him in his latter days with a beard. Ladies and gentlemen, that's just a profile of him. The beauty of his works that he made, that he wrote down and composed, is the reason why we are here tonight. And to participate and to serve us in songs would be our own harmonious choral. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the home choir on stage with a mighty round of applause. Let's welcome the harmonious choral. Santa Bonnie 
O se me ba e dear bain. Missy a wo. Hm. Me o swen ya mi fia cropon as ya kuni nu. Na mati sen ya bon re cro ye jedin wa kente minimu. Inti wo ja yan kwang ye. Ma ba se me shen ya mi tino. Me do krom hop pe o fia e di kanga mi do humono me te. Na mi ko hui se o penin kwami o ni ma dia yori ni kente ja. Kwami o ni ma dia yoni kente dinga mi nyami boy pe na jom no de ne hua be shemano. Manager Jum the Ned De. A call on Suare, Mammy J. Amabono sang won't be. Now Samina, we fred Jumna. Now one in a Jesu. Tat 
Tame tame, mawe na be mawe tame mera kame bleo. A mera me chosa sebleo. A gle nyo nyo be tadia mawe na be mawe tame. A mera me chosa sebleo. A sinyo nyo be chacha mawe na be mawe tame. A mera me chosa sebleo. Eno ko nyo be ha ha chi mawe na be mawe tame. A mere me chosa sebewo, and no kunyo be hachi ma we na be ma we tame. A mere me chosa sebewo. Tata nyaviwe, na na nyaviwe, na me na me, tame tame. Ma we na me ma we tame, mere me kavleo. Madam, I chose a cell. I sing on your better charm. I went on my way to me. I made them a chose a cell. I sing on your better charm. I went on my way to me. I made them a chose a cell. I would turn your back on what you might win. I made them a chose a cell. I would turn your back on what you might win. I made them a chose a cell. A mede me chou se se bleu Tata nye viwe Nana nye viwe Name name Tame tame Mawe name mawe Tame mede ke me fleu A mede me chou se se bleu A sinyo nyo me de dia Mawe name mawe Tame A mede me chou se se bleu A sinyo nyo Tame, ma we na me ma we tame, me de me kableo, a me de me chou se se o, e vi nyo nyo be jitia, ma we na me ma we tame, a me de me chou se se o, e vi nyo nyo be jitia, ma we na me ma we tame, a me de me chou se se o, a gbe nyo nyo be no no chi ma we na me ma we tame. A mere me chou se se bleu, a gbe nyo nyo be no no chi ma we na me ma we ta me. A mere me chou se se bleu. Mubrebre aromwa mayen pegeji. 
Krishna. Send me the car, send me the car, in a beckon, 
I love Ghana and will contribute my quota to the peace in Ghana. In your name, if I can eat Chen Chon, Babash, Babaya, Oshikifu, Oshikifu, J. Bain, a Jijomotromo, or Chonjomo, I can Osmo Party A, a low Osmo Party B, and a war, you have a cat, Twain Jolly, Cashin Le Papa, Afia, and a Unupai Boabake, a Kumifemo. No mean you are a yo, no man you are Me a Ghana mamba. Me to Ghana pa. Me to Nahama a can phone in a. A bad sombre eye dream. I will exercise my civil rights. I will vote for the party of my choice to help build a better Ghana. If my party wins, praise be to God. But if not, better luck next time. We to Kwabia, Madame I am a Nordner and a Ghanaian by geographical demarcation. I am a Moye Victor Baone, a Nung Paga person. Then there is an alase in the power to which you move. In alase in the power to the which you move. I will fight to defend the peace of Ghana. You see how strong I am? God. Bless our motherland. Thank you. Konyanya biyana wana, macho avani baji. Anya dada nam toba gana toy manya. Makonya nusa awo dove vie makotu gana do. All I'm trying to say is that I am proud to be a Ghanaian. I come from the region where you can find all the languages in Ghana. I mean the Volta region. I am going to work very hard to help build a mother Ghana. I will respect the views of others, and I believe they will respect my view also. Thank you. Ebiemo, mi ma benu, apoke nwe. Mi zike ewe biya awoke. Be ma ye mwala, ye bo madene, ema asimjene, era gana. Mi swazo, o swazo, nyeke. I am a Ghanaian, and an enzima. I love Ghana, and I will always stand for the truth. Let us all strive to expose all those who do evil in our motherland. God help us. Ghana youth for your country. The nation demands your devotion. I am a student and a Ghanaian too. I love Ghana. I promise to learn very hard, to use my knowledge to help build a better Ghana for all of us. I promise not to use my knowledge to steal from state coffers or to do galang say we destroy our lands. Thank you.
I'm a Ghanaian and the presidential candidate of the Great Abbey Party. I love Ghana and I promise to conduct a healthy campaign for my party. I will convince people to vote for me and I will not engage in politics of insult. I will also respect those who don't vote for me because that's the beauty of democracy. Remember, when I come into office, one Karista, one Kalipu. <laughs> Mon nom est Junior Ondobekale. Je représente la communauté étrangère résidente au Ghana. Nous aimons le Ghana tellement et nous voulons que la paix puisse toujours régner au Ghana pendant ces élections. S'il y a des francophones, des, fran des, des personnes qui comprennent français dans la salle, j'aimerais que nous puissions crier tous ensemble « Nous aimons le Ghana ».« Nous aimons le Ghana ». My name is Junior, I'm a student in Ghana, and I represent our other nationals living in Ghana. We love Ghana so much, that's why we have decided to stay here. And we want Ghana to live in peace, because if there is a political instability, we will not be able to stay here. May God bless all the people from Ghana. May God bless our motherland Ghana. Thank you. I'm a Ghanaian and I represent all religions. I love Ghana. Do you love Ghana as well? If yes, then I urge us all to pray for the country as instructed in Jeremiah 29. Pray for the land I give you, for in their good you shall also have your good. Romans 13 makes it clear to us that our leaders are chosen by God and we must therefore submit to them. Wrestling with them means wrestling against God, which will incur curses upon our lives. Let us therefore, with one spirit and in one accord, pray for the country. Let's pray for our leaders, our state organizations, and all inhabitants of Ghana. Peace be unto us all. Assalamu alaikum. Asumjay enishua enkayenina. Amen.
beauty of these works are the fact that they afford us the opportunity to see Ghana through the eyes of Dr. Ephraim Amo. Born in 1899, at the age of 22, another luminary was born in Mampong. Professor Emeritus J.H. Kwabna Nketia was born on the 22nd of June, 1921, when Dr. Ephraim Amu was 22 years old. Is that a coincidence of numbers, or is it just my mathematical penchant coming to light this evening? <laughs> but I believe it was not just a coincidence that these two, between them, Professor Emeritus G.H. Kobna Ketia has over 200 publications to his name. Now that number 200 is synonymous to the number of compositions that Dr. Ephraim Mamou also did. In addition to these 200 publications, are 80 compositions to his name. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause to Harmonious for such a wonderful job they've done in portraying the works of Dr. Ephraim Mamou and making us all proud to be Ghanaians in such a time like this. Before I introduce the next segment of performances, I think it's proper that since Dr. Amu is late, he passed away in 1995, we ought to have some conversations with his bloodline. And to do that, I would invite, invite on stage Dr. Joyce Ayi, Reverend Dr. Joyce Ayi. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause to her as she comes to have conversations with Dr. Misono Amu. I think we can't do it better. I could feel your patriotism when I was backstage. One of those few moments when we feel very proud to be Ghanaian. Thank you. Ms. Ono, actually, I don't know why we are here. We are supposed to have a conversation. That's what you told me. I know, but what are we going to talk about? Tata is not here. And it's a difficult task for me to speak on his behalf. You see now. But tell us a little bit about growing up with this musical legend. Did he let you sleep or he was always singing? Oh, we slept. <laughs> <laughs> there was a break from the singing. And um, yeah, we grew up to meet him while he was composing. And um, one thing I remembered, one thing I remember is that any time he was composing, he would quietly be in the study. And during that period, there was supposed to be absolute silence, silence in the house. <laughs> and if you dared make a noise, then you called that for yourself. <laughs> I know he was a very, how shall I put it? He, he was so focused on what he had to do. I, I think what running in his blood was making sure that Ghanaian music found its place amongst international music. Mm -hmm. So uh, what are some of the things that you know, drove him to compose the songs he did? Um, well, as you rightly said, he wanted to portray the African, and um, he came to realize that, um, that it couldn't be done all by itself, that there needed to be some additional elements from elsewhere. So inspired by the black and white notes of that's your crest, Achimota School. School. Exactly. West School. <laughs> so he thought that he could combine the Western and the African elements to produce something very interesting. And that is exactly what he did by using the Western harmony um, in addition to the African elements comprising rhythm, the language, and some other um, interesting elements. I, I noticed also that quite a number of the songs were really a cappella. Yes. Any reason? Uh, 
Um, the reason being, when he was in Akropon, um, he said he realized during church worship, and most of the members who were rather um, non-literate at the time, couldn't quite enjoy the singing. So he thought he should write something simple that everybody could just grab, you know, on the spur of the moment. So that, that's what accounted for that. Uh, I also noticed that uh, he, he, some of his songs were uh, focused on God and what he does in our lives. And uh, uh, one of the songs, is it Esra Mele? Yes. It was very nice. Sing it. <laughs> where, where are the organists? <laughs> they, they said, yes, to, 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 what does that mean? To be just like Jesus. We are learning to, to be like exactly. Jesus. Exactly like Jesus. Yes, I, I want them to sing that because the way this is to 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 it it's very nice, <laughs> you know, and it, it makes you also feel that he, he had a relationship with, God. with the Lord Jesus Christ. Exactly yes. so. Yes, he was very religious, I must say. Um, from his training, he went to a Betifi seminary, trained as a catechist, and in those days. After a certain number of years as a catechist, you were ordained. Yes. But two things, he hadn't married at the time, and he wasn't going to marry because... Of ordination. Exactly. Mm -hmm. As a condition. He wanted to prove a point. Mm -hmm. And... Um, he was very principled. Very much so. Very principled. Yes. And also the you are also like that. Yes. <laughs> I try to be like him. <laughs> and the fact that you needed to be in the... Um, West, the clerical, Western clerical, exactly. And he wanted to prove that even with your traditional attire, you could still be in contact with God. Amen. Esra Mele. I, should I conduct? I'd like us to listen to this song and even though we don't speak the language, to have a feel of what he's trying to say. Just the first, one verse. A strong man, a strong man, a strong man. supposed to model the Lord Jesus Christ. Follow him closely. That's the sense I get from the tutu to and di But on a more, uh, uh, another note, I know that he was always, as I remember him, he was always working on the Udroja Ketua Ana Papa. The traditional Flutes. Yes. The Atentebeng. The Atentebeng, yes. The Udrujaba mm -hmm. and the Udruja. Udruja itself. Uh, yes. And as he rightly said, it was the Udrujaba he created. Okay. After improving on the Atentebeng okay. and the Udruja. Okay. I actually thought he created the Atentebeng. No. So it is the Udrujaba 
that he created. You know, so here we have a legend, someone who has added so much to African art music, Ghanaian art music, African art music. I am looking forward to the day when these songs will be sung in Europe, in Asia, in um, the Americas, just like we are singing the Hallelujah choruses. And so part of the reason why we do these programs is to expose the works of Ghanaian composers and help them to add so much value to what they have. And from time to time, what we should do is to even put out the music. You know, because now we, we can get a, a lot of Western music on, on the internet. Maybe later on we can ask them to pay for something. But I think we need to be out there. This music is so beautiful. Can you imagine uh, it being sung in German? Is the German ambassador here? But you can imagine, you know, even if they sang it, these days Koreans are singing, Hallelujah, Nyami. Well, you found it on your, on your WhatsApp. We need to do more of that. Yeah, so let me just say that in 2014, there was a festival in his honor at the New England Conservatory in um, Boston. Wonderful. I was invited, and there were performances of his songs. Um, some of the universities learned the songs Great. which we performed. And after the performance, you know, um, outsiders kept on asking for the music. For the music Wonderful. And so I think that it's, it's coming up gradually. Yes. And uh, as a living, <laughs> as a, a living offshoot <laughs> of this great legend, you know, I, I don't envy the responsibilities that you have to carry, seeing that you yourself also went into music and taught at the University of Ghana. Yeah. Yes. So tell us what you've been doing, you know, to make sure that your father's works um, become eternal? For now, what I'm doing is trying to put all the works together, putting them into finale, and um, these are the first few copies, and I told James that they are, I'm using him as a, um, a guinea pig, right? Yes. <laughs> what? Or <a> guinea fowl. <laughs> so, <laughs> he won't go to Bukina, he won't go to Bukina. So that um, this one will let me know whether everything that we are putting together yes. is correct. Yes. Right. So we are putting them together Wonderful. and eventually they will be on the market. Great. We are willing as a harmonious chorale to partner you to do this. And so this is just the first concert. I pray that there will be another time when we will sing more of his works. Yeah. And what we are going to do also is to record this. But it's a live recording, so you get a sense of how it happened when it was on stage. Um, how many children did Tata have? Five of us. Really? Three girls, two boys. Okay. One yeah. of them was my mate. Unfortunately, she, she passed left away. us. She yes. left us. She didn't, I went to say goodbye, but she couldn't speak. No. Yes. Unfortunately, we not. did. We did go to say goodbye, but she wasn't able to speak. Yes. And so there are four of you left. Yes. Two yes. girls, two boys. Two boys. Wonderful. So we want to thank God for Tata's life and for your life also, because it's not, it's not always usual that a child will follow after the father's footsteps. You know how it is. I know. Fathers want to project themselves into their children, but it doesn't always happen. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what he did to you, but you know, and you sing quite well too. Yes, I try to. Yes. I actually wanted to go into fashion design. Fashion design? Yes. Well, music and is also fashion. Because I, I, I made the mistake of choosing music as a subject, and even that was due to my former headmistress, Miss Anderson, who insisted <laughs> that because of my father, I needed to do music. So I did, and that's where the whole thing started. He, he um, encouraged me to um, be 
an educationist to mm. teach music. And I'm so grateful to him. Mm. I haven't regretted. Amen. So thank you very much. Thank you too. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause. Very insightful interview. Let's keep doing it till they find their seats. On evenings like these, the pride of being a Ghanaian leaves you brimming with joy. Now to the more mundane mechanics that allow us to have an evening like this our sponsors, Global Media Alliance, GTV Life, Accra Physiotherapic and Sports Clinic, which is responsible for the 3D orthopedic insoles. There's a demonstration out there. We'd like you to try it. Central University College, Stambik Bank, the Mohinani Group of Companies, Manufacturers of the Polytanks, Margins IDs, and Postline Events who offer their services to us at a hugely discounted rate. Not forgetting UNI agencies, Glyco, Data Bank, Internet Solutions, Universal Printers, and our host of media partners who make this program possible. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll go on to the next segment. As much as it is useful and very heartwarming to eulogize our patriotic citizens who have graced this land, it's even better to recognize and eulogize those who are actually still alive and with us. And our next segment of performances recognize our own Professor Emeritus J.H. Kwabna Nketiah, who was born when Dr. Efremamu was 22 years old on the 22nd of June, 1921. Not quite a coincidence. <laughs> I would attempt to mention some of the positions he's held till date. He was the acting principal of the Presbyterian Training College, Ikropon. If that sounds familiar in its connection with Dr. Ifrimamu. First African director of the Institute of African Studies, University of Ghana. Professor of music at the University of Ghana. And professor of music at the UCLA, University of California at Los Angeles. The Horatio Appleton Lamb Visiting Professor at the Harvard University, Visiting Cornell Professor at Swarthmore College, Distinguished Hannah Professor of Integrative Studies at Michigan State University, East Lansing, Visiting Professor at the University of Brisbane in Australia, and the Visiting Professor at the China Conservatory of Music, Beijing. Andrew Mellon, Professor of Music at the University of Pittsburgh, and Laston Hughes, Professor at the University of Kansas, Lawrence. Ladies and gentlemen, if that does not draw an applause out of you, and make your heart celebrate, a Ghanaian who has carried the flag of this country across not less than four continents, and whose work we celebrate tonight, Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Harmonious Choral doing the works of Professor Emeritus J.H. Kopna Enketia. Let's welcome the Harmonious Choral.
Oni pa be ye pio nengeni nara. Oni pa be ye pio nengeni nara. Awura be ye pio, awura be ye pio. Oni pa be ye pio nengeni nara. Awura awo feni tien, awura. เอาวุราเอาวัวเทนิเทนเอาวุราสิกานิเทียเพนเอาวุราย้อนสานิเทียเพนอันนี้เพราะวุราเนนัวคัสเซอเฮนัยเบมุนุเอาวุราเอาว
Oneyenko oja dume na kwa ntunu ya dinaro Ejo na miato masheyen washeyen ya tata masheyen unyami wa dawuma ajachiya ajachiya unyami asheyen o pray say besi unawuni mo unawuni mo eje eje Oneyenko oja dume na kwa ntunu ya dinaro wadawuruma washawunso wadawuruma ejanda mishaye 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 ejanda mishaye uma wadawuruma washawunso wadawuruma ejanda mishaye 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 Wone yenko suse dume na kwa ntunu ya dinara Wone yenko oja dume na kwa ntunu ya dinaro I 
Hey! What is happening? Hey, stop, stop, stop. Hey! Stop fighting! Stop fighting! What? What is the matter? Why are you fighting? You go read this, Alex. Anybody will go better. Charlie, the guy will watch. Why are you fighting? Why? Why are you fighting? Why are you fighting? Oh, me. We are winning this election. This is your man. You are See, fighting because of party. Cut, cut, cut. Did they give you money? What, what did they give you? What did they give to you? Well, one, one big bag of rice and oil. oil. We go, this, what about you? This is for, what did they give to you? Calipo. sad. So sad. What have they given to you? What has these, these parties, what have they given to you? If they were interested in you, they would, they would have given you more money, go to school so that you become better, better citizens. But see, you are fighting, fighting amongst yourselves. Forgetting that you are one people. One nation under God with one destiny. Why should you fight? The forefathers died. They, they, ah, they just died. They, they suffered so that we have this peace we have now. But now, see, you want, to, you want to fight and kill each other just like that because of Calibu. Because of oil. So sad. We are one people. We are one nation. We should come together. We are not a party. No party. This party. What, what is the matter? We are one. Come on, come together. Come together. Move yourself. Move. Move, Checha. See them. Youth of this country.
Wonderful to be in the presence of a legend, a living legend. It's a real privilege. Emeritus Professor J. H. Kwabena, he likes the Kwabena, Kwabena Ketia, is 95 years old. He turned 95 this June. Daddy, tell us a little something about how you compose. Hmm. What, what makes you compose? So many things, you know. Uh, well, like, of uh, uh, of course, uh, I, I, I assume you understood it. Yes. Of and Bimni. Wafa, when you're eating, <laughs> let me also have some to eat. Yeah, yeah. But we saw what Wafa was doing. Yeah. We didn't give anybody anything. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, all sorts of uh, ideas prompt me to uh, compose songs and so forth. No. Uh, the, uh, so many, I, I can't even begin to think of, you know, one, two, three. But, you know, life is very interesting. It has all kinds of expectations and all sorts of things that happen that you, 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 you don't expect. 
and so forth and so forth. And we go through life uh, sometimes succeeding because we have uh, planned properly. Sometimes everything goes on. But life goes on and we uh, are able to manage what comes to our, our, our mind and our hands and so forth. And uh, providence, you know, is with us all along. I look at my own life and uh, all the uh, pro problems and solutions I had when I did not expect no solutions and so forth. And, you know, my own parents were non-literate. And so if you think of a non-literate child going to school at age seven instead of six, and then somewhere being allowed to jump one form and, and go on, and then uh, being able to, to sit for the uh, entrance examination of a crop one training college on the condition that I got baptized because all the time <laughs> I sneaked in and I was going through school life without being baptized. <laughs> so standard five, I had to, I had to stay to, to be baptized. And then I qualified to sit for the entrance examination of Presbyterian Training College. Fortunately, when the uh, results came, I was the second normal several in the, in the country. country. Yeah. That's really wonderful. That's really so wonderful. So that took me, you know, a uh, way to go to a crop on training college. And of course, during the time that I was in a, 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 a Mampong, I saw some students from a crop home. I was fascinated by their their, their, their clothing. Was uh, it white, white? White, white dresses, blue coat. Ah, uh, blue coat. And they perform cru, 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 he, 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 he. And I was so fascinated, I determined that I would go to their college. <laughs> and the problem was that up to standard five, I was not really baptized. I got to school. <laughs> So now I had to sit, you know, get first for sure, get baptized, and then sit for the entrance examination. And so when I got to a Krobo, I was looking for crew, 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 and he had been dismissed. Oh! Oh! So, Reverend Danso, Danso was there, disappointed, but Danso was also good, and uh, I pursued the music that I wanted. And I went through a crop and training college, imitating Danzo, uh, learning how to play the harmonium. And uh, at some point, Danzo would let me play the harmonium in church because when he is absent, they cannot make the difference between uh, him playing the organ and I playing oh, the organ. That's good. Like so that. at that point, you know, I went through all this, you know, and of course Emu had left, and uh, I was coping with Danzo, and I got through the, everything, and at some point, Danzo and I were co collaborating so closely that he decided he would resign, and then I would be the music master. Mm. It is at that point, you know, somewhere there, that I met. Uh, um, um, because when, when he was dismissed, you know, he went to uh, Archibald and then went to England. And then he came back and somebody told him about Nketiah. And uh, so he came to our morning worship and uh, made the speech. And then immediately after that, he rushed to where I was because I was playing the organ. And he said, don't copy my music. I gather you are a composer, you are interested in music. But that was the beginning of my relationship with, uh, uh, with Yah. Because 
don't copy my music. Go to the traditional people and learn from them because that is how I started. And since I was coming from traditional people, this was an inspiration to go back to tradition. And that is how I became interested in the pure African thing because I moved out already. Anyway, I could tell you all the story. You know, that I have an opportunity to share my experience with you. All I want you to know is that I'm 95 by God's grace. Hallelujah. And I suppose uh, he has allowed me to, 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 to be with you so I can share this little bit of my experience with you. He is great. He is great. And, and indeed, and <laughs> that he has a Bravo, bravo. That's what today. Yes. How are you, squirrel? So we want to say thank you to the Lord God Almighty for blessing us with a beautiful Sunday such as this. And we thank you all who are here, but most importantly, to Professor Emeritus in Ketia. We are grateful for spending the night with us, for your music. And thank you, Miss Amu. We are grateful for coming. And we thank you all, music lovers, Amunios Choral lovers. God bless you all, and see you on Friday evening. Thank you. Bye. As is proper for all Ghanaian functions, we begin with a prayer and close with a prayer. So welcome on stage our own Reverend Dr. Josai. I think you're not tired, and I think we've had a wonderful time, a wonderful time tonight, a truly inspiring patriotic night, making us feel proud to be Ghanaians. James, come. I want all of us to thank the Lord for the life of this young man. You. The excellence of the work is because of him as music director. And um, his, his, passion, his passion for music and his passion for excellence makes a lot of difference. So we want to thank you, James. And he's quite humble too. We all love him. I want to ask also to thank the keyboardists. These young men, please get up. Augustine Sobin, Sobin, how old are you? 24. 24. Are you? Mommy up here. 23. Michael, how, how old are you? 24. So you can see how gifted Ghana is. Ghana has so many. This started playing, he started playing with, uh, with us when he was about 19. But he started playing really when he was about 12. So this is, I'm glad you're all here, because that is how we are able to really build this art music well. Thank you very much. Uh, I have to say, I know I'm saying the cruising prayer. This is all part of it. <laughs> and um, Titi, thank you so very much. You know, he emcees for us for free. Where's Patrick? Patrick is our trumpeter. Those of you who listen to the hymns and their stories, you know, the trumpet makes such a difference, doesn't it? Patrick, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and all those who played various parts, the stories that you uh, did for us here, we really are grateful to you. We thank you very much. Shall we pray? What can we say to say thank you, Lord? Words are not enough. But that's all we have. And so what we want to say is, Father, we're very grateful. 
We thank you for this evening. We thank you for the way you have enabled the harmonious chorale to minister. We thank you for Professor Emer Emeritus Professor J. H. Kwabnan Ketia. We thank you for Dr. Misonu Amu and the works of the, uh, the works that we have performed from Amu and then in Ketia. We also thank you for all those you brought. This room was full with some people standing and some people outside. Only you can do that. And we want to thank you and want to bless you. Continue to grow our music. Continue to enable harmonious chorale to minister real music and lift the banner of Ghanaian art music to levels that we have never experienced. We thank you for our, our son, Michael Dingham, who came all the way from South Africa. We thank you for those who traveled from Koforidua and traveled from Sudan and other places to be here with us. We give you glory and we give you praise. Take us safely home, Lord God Almighty. Give us sweet dreams and strengthen us for tomorrow's assignment. We glorify your name, O Lord our Father, in Jesus' name, amen. And now let's share the grace together of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore and surely. Ladies and gentlemen, in this patriotic mood, let's rise up on our feet as we honor the land that we are part of. Harmonious Choral takes us through the Ghana National Anthem. Hello Ghana, thank you very much for tonight. It has been such a splendid performance. I, I never regret coming here. J'aimerais m'adresser à tous mes amis francophones qui sont ici. C'était un moment spécial et j'espère que vous avez aimé cette performance. Je vous aime tous. God bless our motherland Ghana. In general, everything has been very nice and I'm blessed for coming here. I'm always proud to be a Ghanaian. This time I'm, I'm more proud to be a Ghanaian. I'm totally mesmerized, but um, to God be the glory, I'm proudly Ghanaian. We couldn't expect much than what they gave us tonight. It has been so wonderful and marvelous by the work they've given us tonight. I'm really blessed tonight. Ghana is getting ready to vote. As a good citizen, go and use your thumb. Use your thumb to determine who you want to lead this country. As president and as parliamentarian, don't sit on the fence. Go out there and vote. And do that peacefully, because what we want is for us to express our franchise without any inhibitions and without any rancor and without any fight. So go out there and vote. God bless you.